Well, joining me now is Mark Carmen. He's the host of The Beat on 720 WGN Sports Radio Chicago. Mark, I want to talk about the manner in which the Cubs advanced, the way in which they got the job done. What for you does it say about this team? Well, it says that it's completely uncub like Patrick. I mean, you go back in time, you got to go to 1910 for the last time the Cubs were down three runs in the eighth inning or later and came back to win a postseason game. So this is absolutely historic, and they're in the National League Championship Series back-to-back -back years, which is also historic. So this is uh, something new. It's something different, and you have to have hope if you're a Cubs fan that you're finally going to get over the hump, and 108 years will be the last year that they go without winning a World Series. It's been an incredible wait, hasn't it? Uh, I bet the celebrations are continuing for now, at least. Mark, you're also the host of the Cubs post-game shows on WGN. What's been the reaction there to this latest success from the fans? Well, you know what? It's a slow play right now, Patrick, because I think that you know the Cubs have been in this NLCS before. They've been here you know, as early as last year. People are excited, but I think the true celebration will really come, well, first, when they actually make it uh, to the World Series, and then, of course, winning it. I mean, everybody is expecting the city to basically shut down. This, uh, because they have been here before, and also because last night, you know, it was a very late start, so and it was on the road. So we haven't seen the massive celebration that we're hopefully going to see, that Cub fans will hopefully see if they are able to advance to the next round. So uh, it's exciting. People are, you know, all in. But the, the big celebration that's yet to come. And Mark, as you say, Cubs fans and indeed players are taking nothing for granted just yet. You know, they reached the same stage as they did last year. They're, they're back there, as you were. But um, what do you feel, you know, on that occasion, they lost to the Mets, didn't they? So what do you feel they should have learned from that experience moving forward? Well, uh, you know, last year was kind of a honeymoon. They weren't expected to be there uh, that soon, and they had an incredible victory over the St. Louis Cardinals, taking them out in the division series, similar to how they just were able to take out San Francisco. So that's a longtime rival, and the Cardinals have always had the upper hand on the Cubs, and that switched last year. So I think there was some satisfaction, at least a little bit, in getting to the championship series. This is totally different. The Cubs are not going to be satisfied getting this far. They are all about winning the whole thing. So there's sort of the, okay, this is just the next step. There isn't this huge, oh my God, we've really done something feel. It's like, okay, we won three, now we need eight more wins. Four in the championship series and then four in the World Series. So there's a there's sort of a level-headedness about this group right now they didn't have last year. Mark, great insight. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.